Hi, my name is John Shea, and I'm going to be walking you guys through a PinBot 2.0 tutorial. This is going to be a video series split up into different sections, different videos for all the different things that the PinBot tool can actually do. Um, first off, I just wanted to show you some very basics of PinBot. Um, here in the background, I actually have my virtual private server running. And what you're going to want to do is once you've downloaded the PinBot zip file, you're just going to want to extract the folder here and you're going to have this folder pinbot2 by healzer.com. Open this and basically you're just going to want to run pinbot2. If you get an error when you run this, um, it usually means that you don't have the Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.5 installed. Um, if you don't have that, you'll want to make sure you have that installed, otherwise the program will not run. Once you run the program, um, it's going to prepare and if there's an update, it's going to verify your license, and if there is an update available, it will prompt you and tell you which new version is available. I will tell you that PinBot does get updated very frequently, so you'll want to make sure you're updating it every time you run the tool. Um, in fact, I don't even think you can run it without actually updating first. So here you can see I have a premium account. If you're running the trial, this will show trial. Uh, the trial is limited. You won't be able to use all of the features. You can check out the sales page for more information on that. But if you do have premium and you've signed up for a full account, um, I'm going to be walking you through all the different things you get as a premium member. The first thing you're want, going to want to do with uh, PinBot is hit add. This is going to allow you to add your account. You're just going to want to type in your Pinterest email and password. Um, if you click show, you can see the password as it's typed. And of course, if you're going to be doing multiple accounts, you may want to consider using a proxy. Um, we actually do not provide you the proxy, but you can find um, anywhere on the internet you could go out there and um, buy a proxy and get one set up for yourself if you're planning to do that. So I just wanted to show that in this quick starter tutorial. In the next video I'm going to walk you through actually using the tool and we're just going to continue on through the next several videos.